prepared for a lot of these and a lot of fashion content I am still gonna do my college content just to fulfill my personal desires but I also noticed that you guys like my fashion content the most and my sewing so I'm just gonna keep pushing out stuff like that with that all being said let's get let's just get into the haul the theme I guess of this haul is my fall Pinterest board I have this board on Pinterest called Fall Vibes that I am so proud of because when I go to it, I really do get inspired by the things that I put on there. And it just, I don't know, it gets the juices flowing. Like I get ideas for sewing projects. I get ideas for outfits that I want to wear somewhere and stuff like that. So I'm very proud of my Fall Vibes board. And I still am adding stuff and I just started creating my Winter Vibes board. So hopefully this month is good for me and my fashion. Um, especially with all the new, new clothes that I bought. I feel like it has to be, it, it just has to be good, you know? I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the items that I really need in my wardrobe. And the items that I really need in my wardrobe are based off of my Pinterest board. So, yeah. I low-key gotta put my glasses on to read, <laughs> well, to see in general. Um, so, I don't know why I thought that was funny. But... You can see the ring light, so it's really annoying. I'm not gonna wear them. That will make me not wanna post this video. I think I'm gonna put like a scroll through next to this so you can see kind of where I'm getting my inspiration from. So yeah. Fitted cardigan, cargo pants, a black hoodie, trucker hat, flowy button downs, Ed Hardy. I need me some Ed Hardy in my life, bro. And I want to thrift it. I don't want to like get it online. I just want the satisfaction of thrifting it. <sighs> And True Religion, that's how I feel about True Religion too. Like I have been fiending for some True Religion jeans and I want to thrift it because that's what will give me the satisfaction. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, back to the list. I also want graphic tees. I have Harley Davidson specified. I want a crop blazer, which I will probably do myself. True Religion jeans, an oversized denim jacket. I want some leather pants. I'm not gonna doubt that I'll ever find leather pants that fit me perfectly from the thrift store because you can't doubt things. You really have to believe that you're gonna find it so that you can find it. But it's <laughs> it's rare that I've ever seen real leather pants at the thrift store. So wrote down though. I want a cargo skirt, comfy jeans, varsity jacket, a tracksuit, juicy couture, BB, DKNY, EV suit. I, I specified brands in this too. But like I said, I may not find these at the store. I may have to like search on Depop or some other secondhand places to find it. I want a waistcoat top. I want vests, neutral sweaters, oversized, long skirt, mini skirts, cool belts, furry hats, a corset, handbags, black tote bag, low rise pants, low rise skirts, and play suits. Okay, so I'm starting off with these black track pants. I did list that I wanted a track suit. I did not buy the jacket, but I did find some velour track pants and they're really cute. They're my size, so I know they're gonna fit me pretty well. And they also have drawstrings, so it's not really much to worry about there. It was on the list, y'all. And I made the list before I went, by the way. Make a list, your dreams will come true, I'm telling you. Next, I picked up these. They're not true religion jeans, but they are so close. I highly doubt they're gonna fit me though, so I'm probably gonna put them on my Depop. By the way, I'm gonna start my Depop shop up because I do need to get rid of clothes again. I also have a pair of true religion jeans that are too big for me that I'm gonna be selling on my Depop. Sure, be on the lookout. Like if these were my size, I think I would really like them. I like the big, obnoxious threading. It's 
tacky but in a cute way i like them they're probably not everybody's cup of tea yeah and then the leg isn't skinny i just wish these were my size bro just the little emblem has like this metal thing on it with some rhinestones and this little tag it's the detail for me these are from american eagle originally and these are definitely more like cargo pants they have the pockets and all like the little detailings of cargo pants the only thing is that they're skinny i found three pairs of jeans first i found this one which is gap kids but it's a size 16 so it's like kids but also if you wear a size extra small in women's then you'll fit a size 16 in kids especially if the waist has this elas elastic band which saves my life every time but yeah they're just super regular straight leg jeans i needed some super regular straight leg jeans that weren't like tight up top i don't think these are gonna be tight but i haven't tried them on so i don't know We'll see. Next pair of jeans are a lot more relaxed than the other ones. I think these are gonna be like very low rise on me just because I don't think this is my size waist. It has no size on it, but from looking at it, I can kind of tell that it's not gonna fit my waist, but it might fit my hips, which is why I got it. Um, this brand is Lee. They do have the brand on it, but there's literally no tags. Yeah, so the brand is Lee. The denim is so nice on this. That's also why I didn't want to pass it up. And it's like, it's like sturdy denim, but it's already worn in, so it has that like vintage jean feel, and I love that. These, on the other hand, are quite literally the opposite, because I already know these are gonna be tight. I wasn't really paying attention when I picked them up. I did not look at the size. <laughs> and the size is literally a 12 in kids, so I don't even think these are gonna fit me. And if they do, they're gonna be so tight to the point where I'm gonna feel like I just gonna be very uncomfortable. The denim on this is so freaking nice. These are Wrangler jeans. Um, look at the detail on the back. I love it. They feel pretty new. I'm gonna see if they fit. And I was trying to see like with the legs, and the legs cut, the legs are long enough on me. I think that's what I was really looking at when I um, picked them up, but I was not looking at the size of them. I don't know, now that I'm holding them against my body, I feel like they actually might fit me, so. <laughs> We'll see. Last pair of pants are these Adidas pants. They're just regular like swishy pants. And I think these are gonna be nice because they're loose and comfortable. Now that fall's coming, I just wanna be comfortable. But I do want to be stylish too. So these swishy pants are gonna be cool for my chill days, you know. It's just navy blue, even the Adidas stripe is navy blue and then it has the classic Adidas logo right there and yeah it has drawstrings on the inside too so i don't have to worry about the waist being too small oh no the other one got lost in here i think i got it though come out got it all right cool so yeah i'm telling you like these are gonna be my throw it on and go pants i swear i already know thrift gods bless me with some skirts i'm always so happy to get some skirts even though it's getting cold i will always want to wear a skirt i just wear my knee high boots with it so it just balances it out i love skirts i'm gonna start off with my favorite skirt that i found which is this one i have not tried any of these clothes on so i literally don't know how they fit and i'm so excited about them right now but if they don't fit i'm i'm gonna be devastated i'm gonna be devastated in shambles on the floor crying because these are so cute and then i'm gonna have to sell them on my depop Anyway, look at the skirt. So cute, it's like the perfect mini skirt. And this is something that you would see on IMG or any website that sells like Y2K, um, like, yeah, like I would say Y2K inspired clothes. <sighs> I have no words, I just think it's perfect. I wanna try it on right now to make sure that my booty isn't hanging out of it. If it is, dang, Halloween is over, so it's not even acceptable anymore. I don't think it will though. I think it's gonna fit me, but like, it's gonna be short. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. And literally, on the opposite side of the spectrum, I got this skirt, which is long. Well, my definition of long, because somebody might think this is a regular size skirt. This is a DKNY golf skirt, and I think it's so nice. The detail on it, so nice. If I can't wear it because I don't like the length of it, I'm definitely gonna sell it and I'm not gonna alter it, because a lot of times I'll buy things that I don't like the length of and I'll just alter it to make it fit me, but this is a really nice piece and I don't wanna mess it up. Last skirt, which is also black, is this 
denim one it doesn't have a brand on it and it's labeled as a size medium but it's pretty small so like i'll be disappointed if i were if i was a size medium and i ordered this and I expected it to fit me, I would be very disappointed because this is very small. I'm not gonna lie, this is a very small skirt. Unless it shrunk in the dryer when they were washing it, this is a very small skirt. Um, but it is my size, so I don't mind it. I like it and I think it's gonna be a pretty good staple. Probably not gonna wear it a lot now because it's starting to get cold, but at least I have it, you know? The weather doesn't stay cold forever where I am. It's usually hot, I'm in, I'm in Florida, so. So, because I just did skirts, I'm gonna do dresses, because a skirt is literally like half a dress, so. I don't know, that's the logic that I used in my mind, though. First is this, um, it's a dress, technically. It could be worn as a cover-up, but it can also be used to layer. I think I'm gonna dye it brown, though. I ordered brown and black dye off Amazon, so I can dye some of my clothes that are, like, this cream color or stained or, like, I don't know, just will look better brown. And this is one of those things. So I just think I would get more use out of it if it was a different color. But this is really pretty, and it would be a nice beach cover-up. But I want to wear it to, like, layer in the fall. I just want to experiment and play around with stuff, and I just think it's unique, too. It's not a piece that I feel like a lot of people will have or incorporate into their outfits. Oh damn, it has a huge hole in the back though. Did not notice that. I mean, I can sew it back up, but it's probably why I got donated. The next thing is kind of similar, but it's mesh instead of crochet. And it's black, which I love. I love black. Yeah, this one's nice. I feel like this one's really nice. The contrast, maybe like a white long sleeve shirt with white socks and like my loafers. That would be cute. That's how I'm imagining styling it though. I don't know how else I would style it. Y'all let me know how you guys would style see-through things like this without making them like see-through, you know? And also staying warm. Guys, I got this dress, it's a children's dress. The thing was, I was gonna wear it backwards like this with the zipper in the front so that I can wear the zipper like, not like this, but you know, like this a little bit. <laughs> and then it also might be too short, so. I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. Like it's this denim skirt, this denim dress and it has these little velour detailing in it. I think it's from Gap. Oh, it's actually Guess Girls. I put this shoulder up and I put this shoulder up and I drop them. Cause I don't care, I don't care. Okay y'all, uh, so I got two shorts which are not very fall of me, but they were cute. And when you see something cute at the thrift store, you buy it because it's not gonna be there when you go back. Okay, so don't miss your opportunities because it's not the right weather. You know, the clothes will be there when the weather comes around. At least that's just the mentality I have, which is probably why I have so much clothes. But that's besides the point. I got these shorts, guys. These are so, I'm gonna say 2000s because 90s is more like, they were, they were wearing more loose fit clothes and this is tight. They're like jorts, but not really because they're tight. Um. Let me show you instead of like trying to describe them. Yeah, these are very 2000s. I think I was probably wearing something like this in, in middle school. And if you're my age, I just turned 21 August 29th. If you were wearing it in middle school or if you were liking people wearing it in middle school, then it's probably what people are wearing now, which is literally so odd, but also I love it because, hey, I like it still, you know? I can get down with the trends. This is a size zero short by Union Bay, and they're really nice. They have these pockets, like kind of like cargo pants. Um, they have two pockets, which is amazing because then I can wear it and not have a bag because I have so many pockets. And I also have back pockets too. And these little strings on the bottom, which gives it like a nice little detail. What else do I have to show? Oh, all the um, jackets stuff that I got. I'm so happy with the amount of long sleeves I got. Like, I need to chill now. But I also don't want to ease up. Like, my foot is on the gas when it comes to thrifting right now. I'm just gonna get into it because, y'all, I'm telling you, that list came through. I got this little turtleneck from the brand called White House Black Market. I like that it has, like, kind of like a cinching right here because it's ribbed, so kind of gives it some shape, you know? It gives it some shape. And it also has same kind of um, ribbing on the sleeves which makes it like super tight and it has these little button details but you can kind of see that it's pretty worn down the buttons on here and it has a turtleneck like I said same kind of buttons and I don't, I'm not gonna crop this because I need clothes that aren't cropped because it's cold <laughs> So like, yeah, I'm really struggling out here. Before I bought these clothes, I've been struggling. Cause I, ha I, I don't have cold clothes 
But yeah, I think this is gonna be cool. I'm probably gonna be tucking it in because it's pretty long. I don't know how well I vibe with that, but I think it's gonna be nice. And it's black. That's mostly why I got it. The next thing I got is this flannel. I've been looking for flannels. No flannels. When it wasn't cold, so many flannels. I swear, so many flannels when it wasn't cold. But this is the only one that I found so far that I like. And the brand is Tommy Hill figure, so it's pretty like sturdy quality. The colors are not my face. It's like brown, blue, beige, and orange. But I feel like with tan outfits, this would be really cute. So I still got it because it would go with some stuff that I have. I don't know if I wrote flannels on the list, but I need to because I do need more flannels. The next thing I got is a flowy button down top and it's kind of like one that I've been really wanting because I like the fitted ones. Like I want to be able to wear it closed and open and the only way that I would like to like it if it was closed is if it's fitted. I don't know if that sentence made any sense. I only like button down shirts closed when they're fitted. I think that's better. But yeah, so this one I think is going to be pretty fitted on me. I'm obviously going to have to wear um, something underneath because it is see-through but it's flowy how I want it because like I said I'm big on comfort right now so I'm not trying to wear no restricting button-down shirt with this one the buttons don't start till right here which is actually perfect because I'm probably not gonna button the top ones oh this is actually nice and I love the sleeves because they're huge kind of like a bell bottom sleeve why is this shirt so cute I'm so happy I got this wow and look at the um, detail on it it has like kind of like this sparkly stripe detail you can kind of see the little stripes that are sparkly in there it's really cool fun and fresh love this this one hit Ooh, this one's really nice and soft this one's by the brand JJ basics and it's a size large but it's pretty small to me or maybe it is large I just think it's gonna be nice and comfortable not really like restricting it's like a corduroy texture really soft you can kind of see the corduroy in it. It just has like this little zipper. <laughs> Cause it's a jacket, duh. I love this color. When I get a car, I want it to be like that sky bluish gray color. Literally like this, like it's like a sky blue, but it also has, no, it's like a gray, but it also has like this like hint of blue in it. I got this waffle cardigan. I just love things with texture, if you can't tell. I love texture, I'm a texture girl. Look at this, nice, right? It's like waffle. I think that's what you call it. But it's a cardigan and it's from Banana Republic. I also pay attention to brands too because I'm not buying nothing from the thrift store that says she in because she's out. Quality is not going to be good so what's the point of buying it? Um, the point of thrifting is to get a bang for your buck. Buying Shein thrift is not really a bang for your buck because it's crap. It's buying crap for your buck. It's wasting your money. We don't do that around here. So yeah, be mindful of the brands. It might be cute, but it's not gonna last you. And that's what you wanna think about when you're buying clothes. Am I gonna wear this and it's gonna last me? Well, yeah, I got this cardigan. It's like a smoky gray color with little pebbles of white. I like it, it's nice. It's gonna be comfortable too. I got another great cardigan. This one's fitted. I put on my list fitted cardigan and guess what I found? A fitted cardigan. <laughs> Isn't that so great? Um, this one's nice too. Look at the texture. Isn't that nice? I love that. I love that this, this texture. I like fitted cardigans because I can wear them closed and open. I don't really like shirts that aren't not fitted as in tight and uncomfortable but like fits my body, you know? You know, because this is gonna be comfortable, it's a cardigan, it's cotton, it's gonna be nice on the skin, but it's also gonna fit me, you know? You know. What else do I have? Oh, I also got a black cardigan with a butterfly on it. I just forget what I buy, and then I just get excited all over again. It's kinda nice. Here's the butterfly. It's a black cardigan, but had this butterfly on it, and if you couldn't tell by my necklace, I love butterflies. I love butterflies, because they just represent so much to me honestly so when i saw this i was like i have to get that but the brand of this one is ny collection never really heard of that brand the size says x which i don't know what that means i've never seen size x before it's 55 percent silk which is interesting i guess it is kind of soft i don't know guys i'm not gonna wear this one closed though this one's definitely gonna be worn open because 
the fit of it is kind of awkward so it's not gonna be one i'm wearing closed first i got this bus this one's a bit more full size than the other one and a bit wider than the other one but it is still pretty small which i like i don't really want for my body type i wouldn't really want like a big oversized vest but i did write this on my list and i found two this one's more of a blue dark wash and the brand is called highway jeans and it does have this little tag on it so i don't think it's worn this is the washing instructions it just comes attached as like a separate tag and then this one is a more cropped fitted one and it's also a light wash you guys saw this one in the video my last video which was the thrift with me for these clothes oh my gosh ironically it's the same brand highway jeans that's interesting but this one's more cropped and it's a lot smaller than the other one so it's gonna give like two different vibes depending on how i style it which i do plan on styling it two different ways so yeah i think it's gonna be like a cool thing to play with i have not worn a denim vest since like middle school so don't really know how i'm gonna incorporate them into my style yet but i know my pinterest will give me the inspiration thank you guys so much for watching my videos thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking and commenting and follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok follow me on depop purchasing for me on depop just thank you for all your support because i appreciate it like i really do and i really do love doing this and taking time away from it made me realize that i need this i need to do this like this is what i need to be doing and i'm going to continue doing it and continue providing you guys with the best content that i possibly can i ordered some new equipment as you guys can see in this video so it should be very nice um but yeah guys thank you guys so much again that's all i can really say and i really do hope you guys enjoy my content and i will continue posting because i need to but i also want to provide you guys with good content and positivity so yeah thank you guys again for watching and stay tuned for all the rest of these videos because i'm at 8,000 subscribers now like this i cannot ease up i cannot 10,000, 100,000, 1 million is really not that far now that I'm at 8,000. Like, the ball is rolling and I'm ready. So, I hope you guys are too. Bye.